Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, July 30th, 2011, and this is a Zero News update from the lab. Well, I've finally done it. I actually started a Facebook account and uh, put up a page and started figuring, trying to figure out things about how Facebook works, and uh, of course I had to turn to my children to <laughs> figure out how Facebook works and how to set the privacy settings and create fan pages and all, all this other stuff. So I just wanted to let you know I have finally created the Facebook page. You can look me up. Uh, the URL is facebook.com forward slash zero fossil fuel, all one word. That is my username. If you try to search for my, my Facebook page on Facebook using zero fossil fuel, one word, uh, you will not find it that way. I attempted to to uh, create my account using zero as the first name and fossil fuel as the last name and their automated system would not allow me to use the word zero but it did let me use the letter Z so if you do a search on Facebook you can search for Z fossil fuel three separate words and uh, you will find my account that way also I have uh, linked my Twitter and Facebook accounts so that if I send a tweet it will also mirror on the on the Facebook and vice versa. Um, you are invited to uh, visit my my Facebook page. I do have a Mueller motor or a Mueller motor project page up there with photos and schematics and uh, and comments from fans. So you're welcome to to uh, visit that page and to like the page and follow the progress that's going on on that page. I will give you fair warning right now, I am not accepting friend requests on my profile page. And it took me a while to figure out what the difference was between a fan page and a profile page, but anyway. Uh, uh, I have accepted friend requests from people like Larry Jarbo and from uh, DP Engineering and several others who I know personally. And uh, if you do send me a friend request, please don't be insulted if I don't accept your friend request. Again, that is only for personal friends. You do have the fan page to turn to, uh, to, uh, to follow, and there will be other pages as other projects uh, take place. So just wanted to brief you on that real quickly. Um, it was kind of interesting this week. I had a new Twitter feed subscriber called Grid Week. And apparently, Grid Week is a um, news media outlet that reports on the public utility industry and their smart grid. Well, folks, if this works, they can take the smart grid and shove it where the sun don't shine. Because we won't need it, and the grid, is, as we know it now, will not exist in 10 years. Um, that is the end game. That is my promise to you. And if it works they can go pound sand. Their, their business model will have to change and become a retail business model. And they will, they will of course, you know, adapt and they will, they will sell the technology that we open source to the public, but they will have to compete on a level playing field with small builders as well who will be replicating these devices for people who do not have the technical expertise to do it. So, uh, the progress on the project. I finally have a working Arduino script from a very, very talented programmer. Uh, his username is Hydertech, H-Y-D-R-T-E-C. Many, many thanks to Hydertech. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant work. Uh, I gave him a set of parameters to put together an Arduino sketch for the processor board, and he didn't just take it to the next level, he shot it right out of the galaxy. Um, <clears throat> I have got uh, the ability to adjust my, my delay and dwell at will. And he also gave me analog inputs for the custom uh, shield that I made for the Arduino board that will allow me to use potentiometers to adjust my delay and dwell settings on the fly without having to make changes to the sketches and upload it each time I want to try something new on the fly, uh, real-time real -time adjustments while the motor is running. Phenomenal work, phenomenal work, Hydertech. Really appreciate it. I hope you will, uh, I hope you will let me uh, send some, some uh, paying business your way. And um, of course, true to form, 
thanks to Hyder Tech who has who has granted me full license to the uh, the work that he has done on this Arduino sketch to me I will be open sourcing the Arduino sketch for my experimental work as well as soon as I've tested it to my satisfaction then it's not going to not going to crash and uh, and do something unexpected to a use to another user who wants to experiment with this Arduino sketch uh, it will be open sourced and uh, it will be freely available and published at altenergy.org that's a promise um, I also had to make some changes to the the driver board uh, here is a photo close-up photo of the uh, the new driver board there are not a lot of radical changes but what did change in the schematic diagram and I'll give you a close-up of the schematic diagram incidentally this is my first attempt at an HD video so I uh, I hope that the the uh, quality is to your satisfaction I'm really enjoying this new camera uh, but this is the this is the schematic diagram changes and you'll notice that Q1 has been changed to a PNP transistor in open collector mode instead of an NPN transistor in emitter follower mode what that has done is uh, it has inverted the phase of the input which is okay because I can invert the phase of the output on the Arduino on the fly with just one change of code uh, one change changing one line of code and um, it uh, it operates now that Q1 operates in open collector mode which should lower my input trigger voltage from 5 volts to about one and a half volts so that the 5 volt output of the Arduino board now can be fed directly to the driver board and uh, actuate the driver coils on the Mueller motor. Uh, what's left right now is I need to reassemble the driver board back onto the, um, the motor assembly and locate where the optimum uh, positions are now for the Hall Effect pickup devices and set them into place so that I can use that as my baseline and start doing some real experiments. Uh, very excited about this. So we're, we are moving forward. I want to thank everyone who has offered to to write uh, pieces of Arduino code. I got to tell you, I don't think you could have. Uh, I don't think you could have done any better than what uh, Hydertech did for me on on this board. He uh, he built in some bells and whistles that I don't even know about yet. I'm sure he's holding something back, and uh, I'm really excited to get started testing with it. That's all for now. Zero, zero Fossil Fuel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will. hope you'll tell all your friends about what's going on here. We are trying to change the world. Everyone, peace.